Hey guys, I'm back. So today I'm gonna do the art of dressing as a woman, spring summer edition. We are ready to thrive this summer when the weather finally decides to get hot. Um, I did a little video for you guys on TikTok and a lot of you replied in the comments um, letting me know like what you needed help with and things like that. So this is today, we're gonna have a conversation about that. Again, treat it like a podcast, go and get on with whatever you need to do and just kind of listen in. I'm so excited to talk about this, especially with the kind of spring summer edition because the weather is getting warmer and I feel like this time of year is like made for us women. Like genuinely. I do feel like this is like our time to shine. I feel like the colours and like we're really able to like get into our feminine bag with how we wear um, and just being in the sun and it's such a fun time of year. So that's why I want everyone to feel as confident as they possibly can because this is literally your time to shine. Like this time of year is, is literally made for you. Okay. First things first, I'm going to leave with this quote. I was in Waterstones the other day and I picked up a book and it was just kind of, uh, I think, like a memoir on Coco Chanel. And the quote on the back of the book read, Dress shabbily and they will remember the dress. Dress well or dress impeccably and they will remember the woman. And for me, that was like, I said, this is what I need. Like, this for me summed up why you should take pride in what you wear. The idea is that your clothes always accompany who you are. They shouldn't need first, like it's about you. When you walk into a room, it's about you. It's not about what you're wearing. So the clothes should always complement who you are and how you want to appear to be. And I feel like this quote kind of like summed it up perfectly and I hopefully like that is communicated to you guys as well. So I'm gonna leave with that today. Um, and I'm gonna talk on a few different topics. As I said, like I've drawn from the comment section of what everyone needed, to, needed help with. So I'm gonna divide this video into a few different sections. Before we enter this, coming from the last video, if you haven't watched the last video, I would go. I would recommend going and watching that first before you come and sit through this one. But we spoke a lot about authenticity in the last video and how that is so important when it comes to learning how to dress. In sum, for great personal style to exist within you, you need to understand and be confident in who you are as an individual. And I think that is the first and most prominent thing. It's not about fashion at all, it's just about simply celebrating who you are. So that is the first thing I would get into your head, but if you do wanna hear a bit more about that, then definitely I would recommend watching the last video first. Okay, but getting into spring summer, cause that is what we are all here for. So there's a few different things that I wanna discuss. Like firstly is some key items that I'd recommend for the wardrobe, obviously, don't take, you don't have to take all of these because again, it needs to be your wardrobe, needs to be a reflection of yourself. The second one is again, incorporating modesty and learning to dress in a way that like complements you um, and is attractive and appealing and makes you feel most confident. Number three is gonna be colors for the spring summer, which is just the most fun. Then we're gonna get into shoe options because I know a lot of you were talking about shoes and accessories, which again is super important for summer. But first things first, what would I recommend for your wardrobe this summer? Okay, when it comes to the wardrobe, like I don't love to do these videos in terms of like recommending what I feel like you will need because I don't wanna like influence you so much in the way of like, I want you guys to also make your own personal decisions. But these are a few items that I think can be quite diverse to, like for a lot of different, that cover a lot of different styles. And I feel like work personally for spring summer where, you know, if you live in a country like the UK anyway, our spring summer, it's never really fully spring summer. Like I don't think no matter how hot it is, I would ever leave my house without like a cardigan or jumper if I'm being real, because the weather will switch up on you. I think these are pieces that are, that will complement outfits. Um, and work but also like aren't too heavy. I think the key for springtime, especially when it's not quite warm enough yet, is layering and learning how to layer. Make light layers are the best way to go when it comes to spring. So the pieces that I would recommend, I have five items that I would recommend 
for your spring summer wardrobe five okay the first one being an open button shirt and I would recommend this for all year round. I think the style of shirt can depend a lot on your own personal style. And that's why like, I don't want to influence you too much. I love just a plain, um, I would call it like a casual smart shirt in terms of like I wear it in a casual way. But it is pretty much like a smart shirt uh, with a full button down. Um, there are so many different ways that you can style a shirt. And it is such a good piece for layering as well you know you can wear a half button down you can wear it completely open you can allow like neck room so you can accessorize on the neck um you can smarten it up you can tie it up you know there are so many different things you can do you can also wear it as a light jacket in the midst of summer you could have an overshirt on just for when it gets a bit cooler in the evening as well so i think a shirt is a great piece of summer i also think summer is a great time to like incorporate pattern or color into a shirt so for example recently i bought like a pink striped shirt which i'll probably like wear more in the summertime i think a white shirt is really great because you can throw it on top of a bunch of things but i think definitely a shirt a button down shirt is a really really great place and a great place to start for your summer wardrobe the second piece i'd recommend especially this is probably more so for, more so for springtime this time of year is a trench coat but when I say trench coat, I mean like a lighter trench coat. I don't mean like a, a heavy cotton trench coat. I mean like a light trench coat. Trench coats allow you to wear things like skirts and shorts, but then still throw the trench coat on top. And that's what I really love. Like the combination for me, I love a mini skirt and a trench coat because it still gives you that warmth. It still gives you that somewhat like covered up look and the option to cover up and tie the trench coat up. Um, I think it just adds like another element to the outfit um, but they also obviously can keep you warm but they're light enough where they don't feel like heavy and you're not going to be like heavy sweating. I think trench coats are a really really great place for, piece for the wardrobe. Also it's a great piece to invest in because you can obviously wear it in the winter with like heavier heavy duty clothing underneath whereas in the spring summer you can obviously wear it with like a mini skirt and a shirt underneath or like a little t-shirt or something like that. The next thing I'd recommend, I'd go to cardigans and sweaters, light knitwear, light coloured knitwear, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. Like this is a great piece, like I wear this in the winter, but because it's light, I'll also wear it in the summer with just like a t-shirt and like shorts or a skirt or something like that. I think light coloured knitwear, but the, the fabric is loose. The fabric feels comfortable and it feels breathable. I'd highly recommend, as well as that, cardigans cardigans and, and knitwear and then with this choose colors that suit you and that work for you and that you'll know that you know that you can wear all year round I think they're just such great pieces for the wardrobe um, also like a, a good quality piece of knitwear really stands out like this jumper like for example this jumper I got this pink jumper from COS and I always get compliments I've had it for a few years now and I always get compliments on it and at the same time, it is a statement piece because of the colour and the boldness of it. However, it's not so loud that I can't wear it often. And I do, I wear it a lot. So it's a really great piece of wardrobe, I think. Also, it's a time that you can incorporate colour, like sweaters. Like there's nothing, like I think it's so gorgeous to have a big oversized sweater, a pattern sweater with a pair of shorts. Like it's really fun. And I think living here in the UK does allow us to do that a bit more because it's not super hot in the way that like, oh, we have to always be in a vest and shorts. Um, so I think knitwear is actually really fun. And I think it's often overlooked because of the heat. And we think like, oh, let's just buy t-shirts and things like that. But knitwear is super fun. Breathable knitwear for the summer and little cardigans to also layer up with, I think are really, really great pieces for the wardrobe. Okay, the last piece I'd recommend for the wardrobe, which is probably also my favorite, is a crop jacket. I love a good cropped jacket. My wardrobe is full of them. And this can go, this is anything from denim to nylon, um, whatever you want and whatever you feel like works for you. Um, I also think you could be a bit louder. You could have fun with it. You could go for like a brighter color, especially in the summertime. Cause I think even if you were to have like a loud, let's say like red cropped leather jacket, I think that's a piece that you can wear out a lot in the summertime and it's just super, super fun. I love a crop jacket. I use them all the time for layering. This is again, the same thing that I would layer under like a trench coat. 
um, or whatever so that if I want to take the coat off I still have a piece underneath. I think crop jackets are a really great way to go. Also they're fun but they're still feminine. There's still an eminent of femininity with it because it allows you to have a bit of a shape and it doesn't just like straighten you out if that makes sense. I think just find what works for you in terms of colour, but I think crop jackets in themselves are a really, really, really great layering piece. Um, or even an oversized crop jacket so it can go on top of a jumper and things like that. Um, I think these are all places I would recommend like kind of maybe writing all of these things down and um, you can go kind of window shopping and try these things on for yourself and see like, okay, is this going to work for me and have a think about it. But there are definitely a few things that I would recommend having a look at for your spring summer wardrobe. Okay, modesty. I did get a few comments asking me about how to style certain things and still make them look elegant, like skirts, like shorts. So, but instead of like telling you specifically what I think you should be wearing, I wanted to talk more about modesty as a topic and how I personally go about styling items in the summer. So what I would always say to people is choose what you want to have out. So I probably, it would be pretty unlikely that I would go out with say like a low cut top showing my cleavage and then also wearing like short shorts and then also wearing like n like nothing on my arms. Like it was, I think it would be quite rare unless I was like in a bikini or swimwear that I would go out like that. So I always try to say to people, choose what you want to have out. If you want to wear a low cut top, wear a low cut top and then maybe wear like long flowy trousers. If you want to wear a short skirt, then maybe cover up a bit more on top. And I think it's like all about creating that balance, which looks really nice and appealing to look at, is creating that balance of like, okay, cool, if we're going to cover up here, let's have my legs out. So that's why I say to you guys, I love the combination of a mini skirt with say like a shirt and a trench coat. Because it's like, cool, I have my legs out. That's really nice. But then I'm covered up on top. And it creates a really nice composition that I think is really appealing. And this is personally how I go. So always like when you're thinking about it, okay, cool. If I'm going to have this out, let me cover up this part. Um, I think that is actually what adds the elegance rather than what you're wearing sometimes as well. Because you can wear really nice pieces. But then if things are like super, super revealing, that can kind of sometimes take away from the elegance part of it. And I think the elegance in this situation comes from the confidence that you don't have to have or be showing or oversharing parts of your body in order to look good. I think this is where modesty comes from. It's like, I know that I don't need to show all of my skin or all of my cleavage or whatever to people who I don't necessarily want to share it with to feel good about myself. Like I want to look at and be, I want to be looked at and people think like, wow, she looks good without having to overshare those parts of my bodies. So that's the way I look at it. So definitely like pick what you wanna have out for sure. Then going on to more like items of clothing that I think are really great. I love a maxi dress. I always say this and I know, I guess like this depends on your body shape and how confident you feel. But I think alternatively you can have a maxi dress that's fitted, but then you could also have a really flowy maxi dress as well. But I love a maxi dress. The thing with dresses that I'm going to say to you guys, and this is what I want you to do is like go out and try things on, is understand your neckline. Understand what works for your neckline, for your shoulders. For example, myself, I personally don't really like a neckline that like is more circular, that ties around here. I like something that usually like sits on my shoulders. Um, I think work out what neckline you'd like in a dress and I think it makes dress shopping a lot easier. Um, again, like I say to you guys, I don't really wear too many like bandeau tops where it's like, you know, you don't have a, um, you don't have straps and it's just cuts off here. Personally, I don't feel like that works for me, but there are some people that works really well on. So figure out your neckline, figure out your neckline and I promise you it will make dress shopping so much easier. Um, a maxi dress, love a good maxi dress. I think a full length dress is so, so gorgeous. As I said, you can have this fitted, which I think is really appealing. Obviously it can show off your body shape or you can have it longer, more flowy. I think there is nothing more appealing than that. Um, it's really gorgeous. And I think maxi dresses just have a real world presence. Um, so I would definitely recommend. Um, in terms of places shop, you know what I'm gonna do for you guys? I'm gonna write down a list of websites. I know everyone has different uh, price ranges and things like that. I'm gonna write down a bunch of websites that I feel like you can find some good bits at. 
um, in terms of dresses and things like that and it's all going to be in the description below just a list of like different price ranges and different websites that I feel like you can buy things at and have a look but as I always say always recommend if you find something on a website that you like search that brand on Depop, on Vinted, on a secondhand site and try and find something for a little bit cheaper, alter it to your size, uh, the, alter the search bar to your size and um, just have a look. Nine times out of ten you can find something similar for half the price. Another thing to add to the modesty element is the layering. Like I already mentioned before, add some layers to your outfit. Guys, like let's not be afraid like Add like a crop cardigan. I think tie up cardigans are really cute as well for summer because it doesn't take away from your outfit. It still has that feminine impact. A light cardigan. Light cardigans or a little tie up cardigan. A crop jacket like I've always said. A maxi dress and a crop jacket. So cute. Looks so nice. So don't be afraid to like add some layers and don't think things are going to ruin your dress. Like if you're going to buy like say for example like a light cardigan, just buy a white light cardigan. It's going to go with most things in your wardrobe. You can still be warm and it doesn't have to take away from your outfit girls. I promise you. Colour combinations. Guys, this is your time to shine. Can I tell you what? I'm going to tell you the three. Depending on your skin tone, I think things work different well. Different colours will work differently depending on if you're darker skin tone versus if you're light, lighter skin toned but I would say the three colors that I say are like for summer red pink and yellow and green let's throw in green there and you know what orange as well but I feel like the first three like no matter who you are one of those colors will work well and you know what take a color adopt it and wear it we don't care. We really don't care. Like, I've really been in my pink bag recently. But in the summer, I love a good red. I really do. Um, take what works for you and wear that with all your confidence. Um, and then color combinations. I think it's nice. If we're looking at color combinations and you need to wear a few pieces, sometimes wear lighter pieces with darker pieces and again look for that balance in your outfit so if you're wearing like a bright yellow top maybe tone it down with dark denim on the bottom or something like that like think about the balance um look for lighter on top and darker on the bottom so what other color combinations we have like i think pink works really well with like a brown i think red can look really good with khaki um just think about that balance and that tone of you know if i have a brighter color let me tone it down with a darker color but there are also opportunities where it is just bright colors bright colors but i think if you're looking for everyday things like just look for that balance look in the mirror look at the colors look for that balance in your colors and then alternatively you can also have things that work really well with tones so you just have like an all green outfit with different tones um, but I think overall look for that balance, look for the darker with the lighter, um, and 9 times out of 10 it works, I promise you it works. Shoes, guys, let's talk about shoes. I know some of the girls were concerned about having their toes out this summer, and also just in all, we're like, okay, what alternatives that can we have that aren't heels in the summer for us to wear, for us ladies to wear? Okay. First of all, obviously you have the straightforward, like, for smarter evening wear, you have things like kitten heels, you can wear a nice boot and things like that. But alternatively, for during the day, I think if you want something more summery, I would recommend just an elevated slip-on. Like, honestly, I think if you don't want your toes out, choosing a shoe that is like a Birkenstock or like a toga, something that covers your foot, um, but still with summary, I think that works really well. I think you, I really think you can dress it up. And if, if you don't want to have your toes out, then this is a great like mid ground of like, you're still wearing a sandy shoe, but your toes aren't out, love. Um, alternatively, I think the best piece, uh, the best shoe that women that we can wear in the summertime is just genuinely just a slip on. It's like an elevated flip flop, I would say. Find some shoes that are elevated, like maybe they have a bit of a um maybe they have a little bit of a platform or maybe they have a funky strap like something unique maybe some fun colors um just wear 
like just switch it up like find something basic and then find something that works for you maybe it's a color that works for you something brighter something a little bit more summery um and i think slip-on shoes are just a great for summer alternatively again though if you don't want to wear that and you're wearing more of like a sneaker i think in the summer lighter colors lighter colors like this is our time this is the white sneakers time to shine or um, also like I think shoes that are just like casual sneakers more like Converse and things like that I think they can also be really really fun loafers I think is a really time to like dress up a loafer like with a little skirt or whatever it is like like I think that can be really fun as well um, but yeah I think there's so much opportunity and also to play around with color guys like obviously if all black is for you then I get that um, but it's it's a time to like have fun with color and wear lighter shoes. Last, and now last but not least, accessories, guys. Accessories in the summer is just the most fun thing ever. I think there are a few different accessories that I would recommend. First of all, bags. When it comes to buying bags for your spring summer wardrobe and buying bags in general, I feel like bags are your time to really bring color and joy to your outfit and genuinely just go like as crazy and saucy as possible. Uh, I think it's always great to have a bag that is tonal, that is more like a black or a beige depending on what your kind of color scheme is, just so it can go with most outfits if you're looking for an alternative. But other than that, in the summer, I think bags are where you wanna have fun at. Bags is where you wanna get like a little bit crazy. Like, because it's such a small element to the outfit, so it doesn't feel overwhelming, but it's so fun. I think clutch bags, small little baguettes, um, shoulder bags, you know, really fun purses. I think this is your time to shine. So getting a few fun bags, like I honestly feel like two or three fun bags. And again, like you guys don't have to be spending loads of money. Get on Vinted, find a few fun bags, stuff that reflects you. Again, like pattern as well. If you're afraid of pattern, the bag is where to start. Start with your bag. Okay, I promise you. It's just fun. It just adds a fun element to the outfit. Then next accessory is, I wanna talk about earrings because the reason that I love choosing and investing into finding earrings over any other piece in the wardrobe is because I think earrings have this way of really elevating your outfit without doing too much. I think sometimes with jewelry, you feel like, oh, I need to layer a lot before it gets like, oh, it's impacting the outfit and how I look. However, I think with earrings, they can really change a lot if you have a statement earring. I think Etsy is a really good place for this. Um, but like, if I'm wearing a tonal outfit, I always say this, or if I wear like an all black outfit and I add a statement earring, it elevates the look so much. And people are always like, because earrings are something that I think people are quite conservative with and people do tend to just like wear a small hoop and things like that. I think a statement earring really just like changes the game. And obviously sometimes like you have to change your hairstyle depending on what you're wearing. Like I usually tend to wear it up like or like slip back like I am now so that the earring has its moment to shine. But I think finding fun earrings, statement earrings that are loud, um, obviously depending if you like gold, if you like silver, I really feel like it changes the whole entirety of your outfit. Especially if you're wearing a monotone color like black or white. I really think it changes the game. And then lastly, glasses. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say like, cause I don't even own like too many pairs of glasses, but with, I think with glasses, like sunglasses, you need to find your shape. It's the same with the dressing that I was saying on the shoulder. You need to find your shape and this goes for a lot of things and I think once you find your silhouette it's like you're at like 10 times the speed you're like okay cool now I can find loads of things that work for me find your shape go into a glasses shop and try on every single pair of glasses every single different shape ask the shop assistant like what do you think works best on me like honestly guys once you find your shape again you're gonna the look it's gonna be so much easier for you to shop. And I think this is what a lot of you girls maybe aren't getting, is that you don't actually know what you want yet. And this is the thing, it's a process, so like don't rush yourself. But sometimes you need to actually figure out what suits you best before you start buying things. What shapes suit you best? What silhouettes suit you best? For your personal body shape. And then buy accordingly, okay? 
this is what I want you to think about when you're buying your spring summer wardrobe because I can't tell you what to buy. You need to figure out what works for you, okay? Your, and the things that impact this are like your skin tone, your hair color, your face shape, your body shape, your height. These are all the things you need to think about. But once you do, shopping is just gonna become so much easier and you're also gonna save money because you're not gonna waste money on things that you know don't work for you, okay? I promise. So trust in yourself, go out, try on different things, get creative. Don't be afraid to try on a few different shapes and silhouettes. Don't be afraid to ask someone like in the shop if you're by yourself like, oh, what do you think? Do you think this looks good? What do you think? Do you think this works for me? Like, don't be afraid, okay? I promise. Um, summer is our time to shine, ladies. It really is. I'm sorry, but summer is for the girls. Summer is for us, okay? There's no excuses. Look good, feel good. Um, there is no, I think it's kind of like an unmatched feeling, like going out in a summer dress with your makeup done and your hair done. Um, knowing that you look good and then just going out and having, good, having a good time in the sun. Like there is, that feeling is unmatched. So look forward to it, find joy in it, find joy in the process. Like, you know, the way you dress is basically like your creative outlet and like how people, how you choose to present yourself. And I think that's such a beautiful thing as I always, always say, let people remember you for who you are, not for your awful outfit that didn't suit you because it wasn't authentic. But also at the same time, guys, allow yourself to make mistakes, please. Allow yourself to make mistakes, okay? We know what we're working towards, but allow yourself to make mistakes. Guys, what I was wearing three years ago is not what I'm wearing today. And that's okay, I've accepted that. That's something that I'm sitting with and I'm living with because it's part of the process, okay? And we're always gonna be changing. I'm sure I'm gonna be dressing slightly differently in a few years time as well. So appreciate that and learn from that. And then find enjoy the process of discovering your style and who you are at this current moment in time okay i hope you guys all have the best summer obviously you're going to be hearing lots more from me till then also like let's talk leave a comment as to like if you have any more recommendations for summer like i want to hear from you guys you know i always want to hear from you guys i love talking about this stuff so and any other videos that you'd want to hear from me um, I'm looking forward to, like, I'm really enjoying these talking videos now and I feel like you guys are enjoying it too. So leave a comment if there's anything that you want me to talk about or if there's anything that you personally need help with or you have personally been struggling with because I'm sure you're not the only one. I know for a fact you're not the only one. So let's get talking and guys, hopefully the sun, sun starts shining soon and you guys have the best summer. Okay, speak to you soon.